In the previous videos, we went across the drop table command. When I will use a drop table, it will remove all the structure of the table. Means the data along with the structure of a table will be removed from the database structure. But if I want the table skeleton, means the structure would be should be there, but I want to remove all the data, I can go for the truncate table statement. This truncate is actually categorized in the DDL because when you execute a truncate statement, it releases all the memory also along with the removal of the data. So it will not be able to roll back because there is no memory reserved for that particular data and everything is released. So basically releasing that memory will do the trick which will actually affect the metadata in the data dictionary of the particular database. So that is why the truncate table is a part of DDL. But it is a very simple and straightforward command. So let's see practically how can we truncate any existing table with the data. So in truncate, basically you will have to simply write truncate then table and the name of the table. Since we have not started with the DML so far in the SQL, so I, can sh I can't show you the actual difference between the things, but when you will execute this truncate command, when there is a data, you can simply see like all the data has been deleted and you can't do the undo in that particular scene because when you execute the truncate statement, the memory will also be released and your table will not be able to get that particular table data back. So uh, this is about the truncate. Once you start working with the DML, you can try this command to check like all the data will be removed from the table, but the structure and the table existence will still be there in the database. And since if I'll say describe employees, you can see like the table is still there, but the data will not be there for sure. 